Oh, g'day guys, <laughs> g'day guys, <laughs> welcome to Arthur, to Arthur's videos, you know, what can we say, you know what I mean, they're, they're not getting any better, they're not getting any worse, oh, but you know, what can we say, <laughs> I've got to talk about some crap of some form for this week, you know, so I was talking about, I was planning on talking about some other topic, but um, I ended up changing it, so I said, what's in the box going to be, you know, another surprise topic, because all week I've been doing one particular job. I can't get over it. Yeah, yeah, man. What's that, man? What have you been doing? All right. Before I get into the uh, into the yamcha, but you would not believe, mate. You would not believe it. Guess what? I got into the mail the other day. I got a new cup. All right, delivered by Pinwicky Jamison and Hound Armour. Coffee has come in together, mate. You know what I mean? They've joined partnership together. That's right. I've got a new cup. Well, I'm going to break it in today. So the old one is going to go to retirement, okay? And I'm going to crack the new cup in. Look at that, man. Three of them joined all together with Arthur's Pinball Machine videos. Mate, amazing me, mate, you know? All right, I'm cracking it up. I love, mate, I love this drop, man. I'm serious. This is a nice drop, okay? So here we go. I'm going to pour it in, you know? I've had a crappy week as well, you know? Fucking non-stop crap working on shit, you know? All right. Here we go. I'm going to pour the yum chain into me. Cheers, guys. Okay. What have I been working all week this week? You would not fucking believe it. All right. <laughs> oh, mate, I hit the spot. Okay, get rid of the foam and box. All right, what have I been working on? I had a couple of monitors to repair. Okay, we're talking about monitors. Okay. I'm going to start off with number one, okay? This one here, no shit, man. I've been working on monitors all week. This one here, for you guys don't know this, this is an MS-826, okay? It's one of the early Naneo chassis out there, basically. I'm going to flip it around. I must stand on the other side, okay? I got this in a couple of weeks ago. It was out of a Neo Geo cabinet of a guy. It was a really nice looking uh, Legend Alloy Neo G. I'm looking for the photos for you guys. It was not bad. The guy got, got my number for some other guy that I repaired his uh, road blasters. Oh, if I can check one of my other videos, I talked about a road blaster uh, a couple of years ago. And he contacted me, he goes, Man, this guy gave me your number, and, uh, and, and this is it. This is what his cabinet is, okay? There it is there. And full of shit. That's a Neo Geo, 26 inch. Okay, that um, there it is. That's what it looks like. Okay, and um, I said to the guy, I said, "Dude, last time I saw one of these was brand new, and we got it as a prototype to put it uh, for Alicia Nello to test out the Neo Geo when it first came out." Okay, and we had to carry this. Me and Jim, the cardiologist, we had to carry this bloody machine upstairs to a pool room, you know. To test that out, my well, no shit, man. The bloody thing was heavy, so I can't believe it. Nearly what, nearly 40 years? What is it, 88? I think it came out, 89. The Neo Geo, cor don't correct me on these, you know, too many young charts and that. And I said to the guy, man, I have not seen one of these cabinets, but it was brand new, okay? So here it comes, after all these years, it comes back to me. Yeah, man, what's it got to do with the modern of the game? Okay. So I got this monitor, and what he's, he contacted me, sent me a YouTube clip. And um, his flyback was shooting all his uh, electrons out, something stupid, okay? I said, mate, I've never seen shit like this happening, you know? I said, mate, your flyback must be cracked, okay? Because, you know the old saying, your flybacks do crack, you know? If somebody doesn't know, where's that fucking old flyback I had? Uh, flybacks do crack, you know? And I said, mate, you're lucky I've got a brand new one here. Here, here's, here's that flyback in case somebody doesn't know. See how the, a flyback cracks around the corner here? Somewhere cracks, okay? And I said, mate, you're lucky I've got a spare one come in, okay? So I've got it in, and hang on, bear with me on this. Uh, put that shit away. So what I did is, his monitor chassis it was a piece of shit, man. It was a, like a piece of shit. It's like dog, it, look, it looks like... um. Someone got it, got it, and dragged it across the through uh, gutters of rain of and mud and all this shit. You know what I mean? So I got it, and it was a piece of shit. Okay, and what I've done is I didn't do this. Is this how it was? And there's a bloody plastic that goes across there, and that's it. I had to sit there, 
use my Kero gun with the Goo Goo juice in there and spray the fucking shit out of this so I could ca actually clean it so I could physically see it, okay? So I, I saved it for him. I'm going to flip it over. Don't look at that. I can't because it's got a serial number on there, okay? And uh, so I've cleaned it all up for him. I've, I've made it look like you, okay? And, it, mate, it's come up like a million dollars. Check his neck board out, Okay? I'll get, I've got a good topic on this today's videos. I'll talk. Yeah, man. This is not bad, man. Not bad. Yeah, see, check that out, man. I know there's a bit of sun glare from sun glare, the fluoro glare on there, whatever. Check that out. Is your chassis going to look like this? I'll put my two nuts on the table. It won't look like this. This was a dog's breakfast and that. You know what I mean? So that was one of his, out of his Neo Geo. So I cleaned it all up. And I re checked it all out. I didn't have to check too much out of it, but I saved this monitor. But it took me a, it took me a bit of a while to get it to this stage. Then what happened was, uh, he got a Daytona. All right, now check this guy out. Oh no, wrong. No, it's this guy here. All right, it's this guy here. All right, this one here. Put that in video shot. I'll give you. All right, we'll start with the neck board. Oh, no, we'll start with the other one. Is this is an MS. Put it in view. This is an MS um, 9 20, uh, 29SU. I'll write the number down on this. Okay, now, oh, bloody thing, this is a bit heavy. This one, let's go back this way. What happens is this is a 29 inch with expansion boards. Okay, this is another Naneo monitor. Okay, the uh, Daytona used two types they used this Naneo one and a Toshiba one. And this was another one. It was like a dog's breakfast again, you know what I mean? So you got to sort of see what the work I put into it. You know, I do charge to do a proper job. I don't just sort of do a half in pass. Yeah, yeah, man, it's good enough. I strip it totally fucking down. Okay, all the way down. Where the fuck's my phone again? Okay, I'll clean them all out. Here's, I'll give you a photo of my, what I do with these shits. Uh, okay, here. Here's a photo of that bloody uh, monitor. Okay, see that? I'll zoom in for you guys. See how the grime is in there? This is that 29 inch, uh, the 26 inch with all the grime in there. See what I've got to do? I've got to take everything out so the Kero gun can go in there properly, you know? So, yeah, that's what happens at the end. Here we go. There's, there's the photo. Yeah. All right, so they check the photo. See all the grime is all disappeared and all this shit. So you, you've got to take the fly back and the transformers up to do a proper job. That way shit doesn't go into your transformer. But the thing is, it still takes time. To do that here, here's this this is the photo of this guy where the bloody thing is it? Yeah. Yeah, this is it. This is the photo of his. You know what I mean? Check that out. I'll zoom in there. Alright, check this out. See what I mean? I have to strip it all down. Yeah man, it's time consuming to do all that. Oh well, mate, if you want to do it properly, that's what you've got to do. So by doing that, doing the cleaning of it all up, okay, but don't forget, and I'll have to correct something, my audio mate. To, uh, correct me on one of my videos. Uh, he only picked it up, mate. Only one guy. You know what I said to you about all that carbon buildup and all that is carbon? No, it's not. Because he works on uh, audio equipment for bands and pubs and clubs and all that shit. What that is? It's the old cigarette nicotine. That's right. The cigarette nicotine builds up onto the flybacks on the monitor chassis and that because the in inductions of the tube. That's why it becomes like that. So, you know, you guys who smoke that famous brown, um, the brown, brown, the famous mo model of cigarettes with the cowboy and the other ones, you know, the Paul Hogan video, uh, Paul Hogan ad ones, and the guys who know in Australia, uh, you know, which ones are we talking? There was a, it was the blue ones and the red ones. You used to put them on your shoulder arm pizza. You walk around the, the thing, go, hey, boys, you know, yeah, those guys, you know. That's all nicotine. It's uh, built over the top of this, basically. But, but you can sort of see the work went into this guy here. Uh, there was a few issues here. I've quickly done it. I put it back together. Um, I've put a plug on here. Somebody used a Toshiba plug, so I put this back onto the frame and that. But again, it's, like, it's all the work, basically. This is the cradle sits into the actual frame. But again, you, you can't stop on one. Oh, I didn't explain to you guys. Okay, this particular model, all right, you can see here, it's for high res and low res here. So you jump it from high to low if you want it, okay? You just pop it over here. There's the res, basically, around here. Play back. I'm going to show, I'll show you this one. Now, check this other guy out. All right, this is another one. Yeah, that's right, man. I told you I've been doing bloody monitors all week. Okay, now, this one here is another one. But this is another MS-9 
model, but it's a slight different model. You see, it's got a relay. This one's got a relay on it, you know what I mean? And make sure you clean the suction caps. You know, so to see how, how nice and clean these sides, the flaps of the suction cap. You know, you've got to pull the flaps out, play with the flaps, clean a bit of the flaps, clean the outside of the flaps. Okay, then I also clean the, uh, the, the high tension lead. See, it's not nice and, nice and red, basically. And it's just that extra love with it. This one here, it automatically, uh, switches on by itself, basically. It's got a little relay. If it's a 15k, and this is a split yoke chassis. That's another one in the show. This is a split yoke. There's your horizontal in there. And there's your vertical section. Okay. It's a, it's a, this is called a split yoke. Okay. Because the two wires on your yoke. Oh, here we go. I've got a yoke here. <laughs> How good is this here? Here's a yoke. Oh, this is a yoke. See that? That's a single inline yoke. This is off a, uh, this is off a 26, no, the KZ18. Okay. Okay, that's a single line yoke. Okay, so that bullet is the one that goes onto that previous one, the 26 inch. That's it. But this chassis here, the yoke is a two way split. The horizontal and your vertical are separated. So it's a two, two pin yoke basically on this chassis. And the, and the, uh, the Toshibas are the same basically, you know. Oh, uh, fuck it, my brain's going fried now, basically. So yeah, so this one here, I cleaned it all up. Got it ready to, you know, to, um, again, it's getting harder and harder to find good chassis and that. So, yeah, sort of solved that one while I had that other 29 inch up and that. But, um, the problem was I brought this up because I went and picked up a, a chassis today from a friend of mine. I do have friends. And it's out of a tabletop, his one. And it was doing the heavy jeebies. Okay. Okay. This is out of a 14 inch table. All right, I haven't touched it. This is how I got it today. That's why I decided to talk about this back to monitors again. You know what I mean? What you have to do sometimes to uh, do it. See how the see how the suction cap has got all the black shit around it. Its flaps, you know, it's crinkled because it might have been the way it was stuck in the car with the weather. So it will stretch out again. See how it's got the, all the black shit all over there. All right. And his monitor was doing this bit of shaking and that. He goes, oh, it might be the transformer in the side of the cabinet or whatever. No, nah, mate, it's got nothing to do with the kettle of fish. So I said, leave it. I'll pull it out. I'll check it out. I don't know what this particular model, put it in the vision there. I've got no clue what this fucking monitor is. I've got no clue. Someone knows. By the time someone gives me a comment, I'll probably work it out myself. Okay, that's what the neck board looks like. It's old school. Okay, there's the screen adjustment. That's for your screen. Okay, you know, to make the brightness of your tube. My hand's already getting black. Okay, have a look at this. Now, check this out. Can you see this close up? Can you see all this? That's what I said to you over the years. Okay, what the audio guy, it's the smoke, it's the smoke, the pollution that it, it, the, t the high tension is grabbing and making it all out. Then what happens with this is I've got two flybacks on two monitors that I was working on and they, 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 they've had their fucking days. They're blown basically. You know what I mean? So I'm chasing flybacks at the moment to get those two chassis up and running that I'm working on two 14 inches out of the 2.5s they are. So I got this in today. So I got it. I wanted to show you how I get them in. Okay, without cleaning them all up, this one I'll probably put a bit of effort into strip it down and clean it properly. I'll check all the caps before I'll do all this. But the thing is, you've got to clean all this shit off because this is causing uh, the half your problems in there. You know, and like I said, if you don't know what you're doing, don't screw, it, don't fuck with it. You know, just ask somebody else or give it to somebody else to service it for you or give it a go. But as I said here, half your problems is that. And sometimes, it's not all the caps, the problems are caps. I keep saying to you, you know, oh, it's got a cap problem. It's got nothing to do with the caps. If you've got a good testers and all that, you could solve your problem. But I've done, I've done a couple of them by cleaning them, and that eliminates half your bloody problems is because the electrodes on the power, they're bouncing around inside, basically, especially the flyback area. But a good clean fly monitor it will last you another this tabletop fuck, fuck, what is it 45 whatever it is you know so color came around about 80s 
So you look at it from 1980s, this one is, you know what I mean? But I've got a feeling this looks like it's towy, you know what I mean? Because I had another guy goes, yeah, got a guy here around town here. He works on monitors, but he's asking for a circuit diagram. Man, I'm going to work on this with that no circuit diagram. But if you haven't got a clue how a monitor works and that, don't fuck with it, I keep saying, you know what I mean? But if you've got the basics, how, how what section does what, you can fix it without a circuit diagram. The only time you need a, you need another one is in case it blow a component and you don't know what the component is because it's, the head's blown off. That's when the other time you're in the screw because you don't know what you're going to put in there. But most of the time you can sort of work it out basically. You know, this thing is working. It's got a good photo and picture in there. But while I was at it, he, I got another one that, uh, he had. This is a 19 inch. Okay, this is a 19 inch. It looks like someone's yeah, someone's done a cap job on this. Okay, this one here, I don't know what it is. It's out of a cabinet, an American cabinet. And um, the tubes got, you can sort of see the, the game, what, was, what it had for last breakfast, you know what I mean? That's how burned the screen is, you know what I mean? Um, it's, got a, it's an RCA, an RCA shit tubes, you know. The Amer Japanese stuff don't do these old Hitachis. Uh, sorry, lying to Mitsubishi tubes. Okay, so I've got this chassis. I don't know what brand of shit is this one, too. Yeah, man, there's all the word shit on these chassis. No, some chassis, mate, you can see the quality, and you can see quality. You know, some, some you see that, mate, these are just shit, you know what I mean? Especially those Skipper Wells gardeners, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, so I've got this one here. Oh, that fucking, look at that, man. I didn't even notice it. Yeah, the fucking neck board's cracked. Have a look at that. Look at the repair job on this. Okay, you do what you got to do, you know what I mean? Yeah, I didn't notice that. I just noticed it now. Okay, shit. Okay, but um, I actually got this because oh, I need the tube because it's a 19-inch, so I could use it as a testing thing -o. But, um, yeah, I just as it was about to throw it out. So, look, don't throw it out. I'll take it. But uh, I can't believe... Oh, my God. What the fuck is that? Look at that. What the hell's this shit? You know, someone's put some silicon around there. Oh, because it's the, the, the coil, the choke has broken. They put silicon around here, you know what I mean? Oh, for fuck's sake. You know? And, uh, yeah, I can't. Look, I, that, you, you just hang shit on my work and that, you know what I mean? But, like, the best one is that uh, somebody goes, mate, why don't you do a video of you repairing? It's like, I said, yeah, man, it's like you. It's like me going, buying you a counter, a counter meal, and I'm standing there watching you eating it, you know what I mean? So what's the point, you know what I mean? So I thought I'd show you this one. This one, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to keep the chew. This can go fucking heaven, this piece of shit. But I'm going to fucking fix that other one there, this other one that he gave me, the 14-inch. Okay, but I just wanted to do a video on monitor chassis. If you put a bit of extra love into them and clean them all up, you know, that it'll survive the distance, mate. It'll be, I'll be gone by then, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But as I said, it just takes the time and effort in that. And um, what else was I going to talk about? That's basically a monitor. Oh, and also... My R&D department came out with a bigger one for those uh, vision impaired people. Instead of holding that little coaster, they got they made me one of these. Okay, so for those guys that are vision impaired, you can sort of see my low, uh, my details here now, basically. So if you want, reach out to this thing. Like some people are doing, as I said, I'm trying to come up with different topics and all that stuff. But when you work on monitors, make sure you turn the power off, man. I'm telling you, turn the power off, especially the fucking flap where the flap is. Check my other videos on how how to discharge it. And I'm not coming around to give you these guys mouth to mouth and slip the tongue in there. You know what I mean? So. As I said to you guys, you know, I'm always trying to come up with a topic. It was actually something, some other topic today. But I said, I'll do monitors. As I said, look, you know, um, you're all saying of mine is, you know, pinball machines and video games is a passion and poker machines and whatever, you know. And <laughs> whatever, man, it, basically it is, you know. So thanks for watching, you know. Go down the bottom, go do, 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 do down the bottom. Give me the thumbs or the fucking finger, whatever. But as I said, I'm trying to come up with a topic. This came out of nowhere, this topic, you know what I mean? But I wanted to show you a monitor chassis from uh, from pieces of shit. You can open up your cabinet and have a look at it and tell me your ca your monitor chassis looks like that. You know what I mean? But as I said, you know, I don't do half in pastas. I use quality stuff. Is that on that note? I'm looking around trying to say. On that note, guys, thanks for watching another one of my crazy videos. Cheers, guys.